Scorpios, come out to play. Hello, my fixed water sign, Scorpio. What's going on? Ow. If you clicked on that thumbnail, you know who you rocking with. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am O Marvelous One herself. And what's going on? Happy second day of lunar eclipse. How is the lunar eclipse and the full moon and Aquarius treating you? Well, well, well. I'll be damned. I feel like MC Light. Okay. Well. My fixed water, you definitely, your energy is definitely heavy, which means that you're not doing the work and you're blocking something. That's what I'm picking up, Scorp. Makes sense, though. Makes sense. It makes sense. I can let you know right now who you connecting with. You connecting with fellow water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, all three, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra had some of the same energy, but directly correlating you back with cancer actually had the children card. Okay. You have children or a child with a cancer. That's what the cards show. Let's go back to Libra for a second. Libra has feeling, healing family issues. Okay. Aquarius had free yourself like you have. You're going to find out. I want to go to Pisces for a second. Hold on. Pisces does not have anything with the children. Cancer definitely does. Let's get into your cards. This is going to be your extended bonus reading. No intro. We don't need no hook for this shit. But Al, hello there. Okay. No tarot, unless I feel the need to clarify as we get deeper into the story. Okay. This is going to be your extended bonus reading for the lunar eclipse. Full moon and, Scor and, full moon and Scorpio. Full moon and Aquarius. Okay, July 27 through July 31st for documentation purposes, but energy is up, down, side to side, in between, in and out. Okay, if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, Scorpio, two of your rulers are retrograde right now. So it makes sense that you will be experiencing this the way that you are. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. And guess what? Your clarifier card came up. Six card reading. Three cards. Romance, angel, oracle cards that we're going to be examining some of the love energies that are surrounding you. We're going to be clarifying those energies with the soul's journey lesson card, Scorpio. And the death card came out in that card. That's your card in the tarot. Get ugly, Scorpio. That means that you're going to be listening and transforming. That's what that means. You welcome the transformation. You shed your skin like a snake seeking to release your spirit and be reborn. Because you are able to detach yourself from the ties that bind others is easy for you to fit to change your identity, making you the mysterious person that everyone wants to figure out. But you lose half on a trade in. You lose half on a trade in, sweetheart, because. If you're not doing the work, that transformation is not going to work. OK. Mars, Mercury, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto and Chiron are all retrograde right now. Your ruler, both of them, Pluto or Mars, are both, depending on which one, are both retrograde. And the way you're communicating is messed up as well because we're, I mean, Mercury is asleep. 
right now. Not operating at the highest of the vibration. Okay, my fixed water sign, which means that you're definitely going to have to dig deep because unless you are willing to accept why you need to transform, it makes no sense. You can change all you want, but why are you changing? Death, envy, and empathy. Death, envy, and empathy. Fix has a hard time being able to look at things from other people's point of view, Scorpio. You are notorious for this, depending on how you're placed. You are fixed water. Ooh, we. You are hella resourceful, brave, passionate, a true friend, loyal as hell. But when you are operating on the lower vibrational side of your um, of your zodiac sign, you can be distrusting, jealous, secretive, violent as hell, dishonest, reveal and have the nerve to get mad when people are turned off or taken aback by your behavior, darling. Keep an open mind is what you're being guided to do by spirit. Your soulmate differs from your usual type and expectation, which is a good damn thing. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and children. Your love life is being affected by children. Same thing with cancer. Go and check out their cross listener. Are you a cancer? Listening for your Scorpio, sun, moon, rising or Venus. Okay. Again, I told you that you can be connecting with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you show up in your own reading. Another water sign. Specifically cancer, but it could be someone with water in their chart. That's that that works for me as well. Or air. Specifically Aquarius and Gemini, but of course Libra as well, because Libra has hell and family issues. So I'll throw all three of them in there. When children show up, we got some issues. You're being guided to keep an open mind about your love life. You're stubborn as all goddamn hell and you're stuck on something. And I suspect that this stuckness that you're experiencing has something to do with the damn past. And I look like I'm going to have to clarify stuff. Ooh, you're making me work for it today, Scorpio. You lucky I only got one more reading left. So I'm going to go ahead and rock. Listen. Universe spirit, angels, and my guides are telling me, source is telling us to let you know that you need to open your mind, heart, okay? Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations, Okay? It's interesting, though, because this ends up being a damn love reading after all. I really thought looking at the clarifying cards, it was going to be something else, but mm, it's not turning out to be that way. Why do I say that? Well. Keep an open mind. For yourself and children. Death, envy, and empathy. Heavy, heavy energies. Makes sense though. Makes sense. I don't know how you're aspected, but again, retrograde energy, the lunar eclipse, this this eclipse energy is calling for you to keep an open mind. You've been you, you like somebody. And I'm going to clarify how much transformation is here. You're going to allow it, but you need to understand why. Death of old thoughts, patterns, behaviors that no longer serve you. Good riddance to old rubbish. Death is here. You are operating in your element, Scorpio. Proud of you. But I'm sure you put this person through hell knowing you. I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> oh, and look what popped up to clarify it. Death. Double death, baby. Transformation time. I'm proud of you. You're going to keep an open mind. 
And if you're keeping an open mind about a soulmate, you love this person. That's sweet. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Major Arcana. The clarifiers will not be photographed, Scorpio. Death of thoughts, patterns, belief that held you hostage, that kept you bound, that kept you married to a state of mind, to a lifestyle, to a way of thinking. It's out of there. I'm happy for you guys. I know how hard that is. Major, tra major change and transformation about keeping an open mind about a soulmate. Ooh, I'm happy for you. That clarifies the clarification, double clarification. What clarifies the energy of keeping an open mind is the death card. What clarified, that clarified. <laughs> what clarified that clarification? The death card. <laughs> oh my god i told you you were connecting with air didn't i or have it in your chart four spades in the illuminated tarot deck rest and recovery following the strain the mental strain that you put on your body in your mind because you kept trying to analyze this damn person and not giving the person the chance knowing damn well you love them yeah you got some water somewhere you you connect them with water because you giving you giving them a hard time. And the reason why they differ is because you too stuck in the past. Let the shit go. I told you that you had good energy in your um, your extended bonus reading. You had the best damn reading out of everybody, Scorpio. Stop playing these games with me. Understand that endings are merely beginnings, which is the exact the exact definition of the fucking death card. Excuse my language. Endings are merely beginnings. Transformation and major change. You got it twice. I didn't even have to clarify that if I didn't want to. Let's take it one step further. Divinely guided union here between you and your soulmate. Rest and recovery, recovery following the strain. Spades is the equivalent of the, the suit of swords. The swords represent the element of air. Libra, Gem Gemini, or Aquarius, you can have in your chart or you can be connecting with. That is what I see. Now, when I break it down like that, I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to take it one step further. We know what the death card for tarot means. I am learning that endings are merely, uh, uh, merely beginnings and death is an illusion. The energy and consciousness that inhabited the body is free and returns to its natural home, but it never abandons us. What? Learn to view death as merely a change and everything must change because stagnancy extinguishes progress. What? Hold on. Say that again, marvelous madame. Stagnancy extinguishes progress. The same is true for a relationship or a career. The soul lesson may be completed, but it's time to move beyond the point of familiarity and expand into new horizons of learning and development. And the same thing with love. You've been chasing them stupid, crazy people. Same old type, build, shape. Don't do a damn thing for you. Don't bring the soul. Listen, I told them air signs too. Ego. Ego death, honey, put it to death. That's what that's what died. The ego. Because this person is what your soul needs. In your heart, your ego wants a big butt and a smile. Your heart wants a big heart and a small butt. <laughs> a big heart and a smile. There we go. Not necessarily a small butt. Get ugly, uh, Scorpios. I know how y'all like the big butts. And I'm talking to the men right now. Ladies, you might like your man thick too. Get ugly. I ain't tripping. Okay? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. 
And if this was if this was surrounded by any other card, then I would understand this is freeing yourself of that thought pattern. The things that kept you bound to a mindset that didn't serve you. This eclipse energy came and shifted it out. I'm proud. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys got an excellent, excellent reading. The best reading for the extended bonus reading out of all 12 zodiac signs. Every reading was I love you, but yours was beautiful beginnings, loving on somebody hard, deep and strong. That's what it was. Okay. And I'm going to calm down. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay. Now. You let that go. You're shifting out of that. You're giving this person a chance. You love the person. I already told you guys that. You free yourself. Ooh, look what that. I wasn't even trying to clarify. And justice just came out. Another spade. Woo! I ain't even got an opportunity. Envy. Envy. Clarifies, free yourself, take back control of your life. I am the same as everybody else with different challenges. Clarifying that is... Oh, my God. I'm a scream. Didn't I tell you guys you were connected with air? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I just pulled the eight of spades. Oh, my God. I'm going to scream the epiphany here. The irony. I told you guys before I even pulled these clarifiers who you were going to be connecting with based on the energy that the other zodiac signs pulled. I can't make this shit up. The eight of spades. You have been restricted by fear. That's the reason why spirit is telling you to free yourself. You are the same as everybody else with different challenges. Break out of that mental conflict. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're connecting with her is in your charts. Another spade. Spade is the equivalent of the suit of swords. Swords represent the element of air. And on top of that illuminated tarot, this is the justice card, which also represents Libra. God damn it. Whoo. This is me needing the bell. Fairness, the need for a balanced mind. Pause. This ain't no legal matters. Hell no. This is you freeing your mind. This is you overcoming that 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 mental agony that you put yourself in over what Scorpio? Over what? Learn to accept the uh, the obstacles that life that in your life that has been chosen by you to be jealous of the soul path of another is to doubt the ability to judge what's best for you. What? You never truly know what's going on in another person's life and what personal challenges he or she may face. So to be envious is a fool's game. What the hell? Why are you envious? Why? Because this person that's challenging you to keep an open mind, they challenged your ass. You look at this person. I said this the other day about somebody else and wonder how in the hell does this person keep it together? How can I continue to treat this person the way I treat this person and yet they won't leave? You're not jealous from a standpoint that you want what they got. This is your soulmate that you're feeling like this about because we tend to fear what we don't understand and you were penalizing this person because anything we don't understand, we fear. But at the same time, when you got by yourself, you was just like, how is this person? This person challenged you. And that's what your ass get. That's what you get. That's what you get. That is what you get. You needed a challenge to get you out of that damn comfort zone. 
Stop judging this person. You ain't got nothing to be envious about. We are all the same. Take the time to get to know the person. You already are feeling a connection. Children, your love life is being affected by children. You got children you ain't seeing. You got children with that cancer. You got children with someone. And the way that you approach the situation is causing some problems in your love life. And, it, and it's, 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 it's stopping the ability for you to move forward. Stop using these kids as an excuse. If you feel if you're keeping an open mind and it's the death of thoughts, patterns, behavior that no longer served you and you're freeing yourself from that mental binding that stopped you from moving forward with your soulmate. Now you about to make the children the reason why you just looking for all types of goddamn um, reasons not to move forward. Let me tell you a little secret. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. That's that's what clarifies this card. You don't truly understand others motivations if you haven't lived their lives and seen through their eyes. It is so easy. What did I say? You was judging. Didn't I say that to judge another's behavior matched up against your own label of what is right and wrong? God damn. If this don't if this is not directly talking about or talking to the Scorpio, I know Well, he has a Scorpio rising. Stop judging. No one is perfect. I'm going to clarify this. I'm going to clarify it. Okay. You are missing the important part of the equation. The other person's personal history and, and path. If you lost your way to the path of love, it's a human reaction to judge others before examining their journey through their eyes with compassion. Your job is not to judge. Your job is to love and understand. You better talk about it. Your job is to love and understand. You already love this damn person. Why are you playing these damn games? Yo, the, the relationship is being affected because you create, you create these problems. You, Scorpio, stop it. I'm going to clarify. I'm so happy that you got the death of this. I'm so, so, so happy that this is the death of this. Good riddance, the old rubbish. Okay. Good riddance. Oh, uh-oh. Yep. I knew it. Thank God. Thank God. The two of cups came out. Your soulmate is a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know what's crazy about that? We know that the two of hearts, we know that cups is, rep it, the, we know that hearts is equivalent of the suit of cups. Cups represent the element of water. That's how we knew who you were connecting with. However, there is one extra special thing about this card, and this is the reason why I love this deck. Not only is the two of hearts the coming together of two people, not only is the two of hearts an important union, not only is the two of hearts and some and, and it could talk about reconciliation. It can talk about um, reunions, you know, getting back together, starting something new, two people coming together and partnering up a love connection in this particular deck is the temperance card. If you don't shut up the two of hearts balance which is also the scale. You got double balance. This is beautiful. The clarifiers will not be photographed, Scorpio. Death, double death. Okay, free yourself from the envy is being clarified by, envy clarifies free yourself. The tarot that, clar that clarifies that is balance. The scales, justice. That lets me know you were dealing with air. Children, empathy. I just got through telling you not to judge. You're too damn judgmental, depending on however uh, how your other aspects and what's up, what else is in your chart. Clarified by the two of cups, a coming together of you with your water sign, who is your soulmate, whose who spirit is telling you that you need to cope, keep an open mind about. OK, important union, balance in the relationship. Rick reconciliation 
You know why the author put the two of hearts together? Because it means balance. Two people coming together, the balance. That's why. I love some of the ways that she put it together. There's only maybe two cards in, in this whole deck that I don't like how she partnered up when she blended this deck. It's beautiful energy. I love it. It's balance, which is why she chose the temperance, patience, moderation, compromise, balance and healing. Put your damn stamp on the Scorpio. And again, you got beautiful energy. I can't even take it with you guys. You killing it. You killing the game with the energy, killing it. Double death lets me know it's divinely guided. You can't do nothing but put your stamp on that. Okay. This has been your reading. This has been your reading. Okay. I couldn't be more happy for you guys. I know how hard it is. You found your soulmate. And I know you've been holding on to the past. Let the past go. Let this person come in and love you. Stop it. Break these chains. It's mental. That's what's beautiful about it. Love is here. You love this person. It's a goddamn two of hearts. Granted, it may be the start of love. But it's love. Why are you giving this person such a hard time? Cross listeners, your Scorpio loves you. Sun, moon, rising to Venus. I don't care what they say. Give them an opportunity to allow... The energy of this eclipse to push them forward and propel them, like it or not, into the balance and the door of happiness with you. Don't push. Just come to me and ask me what's going on. I just got through telling you your Scorpio loves you. Scorpio, this has been your reading. If it resonated, great. If it didn't, let it skate. Some of you guys needed that message. Share it with the Scorpio in your life. Like and share, like I said. Go ahead and subscribe to My Marvelous Tribe. Look out and check in with me in the next couple days where we go ahead and tap into the August energy and get your How Does Bay Feel About You series off the ground and running. Go ahead and release what no longer serves you. Allow the universe to assist you with going and walking into the door of happiness with this person, Scorpio. You need to do it, okay? Let it happen, allow it to happen. You love the person and you plan these games. And remember, your greatest compatibility people are Taurus and Cancer. That's what they say. You definitely connecting with some Cancer. You are definitely connecting with a Cancer. You guys have the exact same goddamn cards. Children are playing a role. Their message was a little bit different, but overall, the same energy. And they showed up in your reading and you showed up in theirs. Go and cross watch, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I got to deliver my last message and we are done for the next couple of days. OK, you'll hear from me in a couple of days, Scorpio. You guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of uh, your weekend. I'll see you back soon. Bye, Scorps.